Hello, my dear students. Let's begin with a new chapter this time. This time, the chapter is chapter 9 of your book in the geography section. And the chapter that I will be teaching you is life in the temperate regions. We'll be talking specifically about the prairies and the wells, right? So let's begin. Now, this is the map which shows about the grasslands of the world. So why this temperate grasslands and what do you mean by this? See, basically, this is uh, that area which is characterized as having grass as their dominant vegetation. Trees and very large shrubs are absent. So, ye jo aapke uh, grasslands of the world hai, right? So, they are known by different names. Like in North America, they are known as the prairies. In South America, they are known as the pampas. Uh, in Europe, they are known as the steppes. In uh, South Africa, it's known as the weld. Savannas in the northern part of the Africa. Then uh, the uh, downs in Australia. So these are basically the grasslands of the world, the temperate grasslands where grass is the dominant form of the vegetation. Basically, they extend in the mid latitudes between 40 to 50 degree in the northern and the southern hemisphere. The climate here is moderate and I told you that grass is the most important, uh, you know, vegetation uh, here. That is the dominant vegetation cover here. So these are the tem temperate uh, grasslands situated in the mid latitudes between 40 to 50 degree in the northern and southern hemisphere the climate is moderate and grass is the most important vegetation uh, here right now i just came across a very interesting uh, trivia uh, okay now tell me the continent which does not have any temperate grasslands and that is antarctica this is not in your book but i just wanted to give you a little more information on this right now the first thing which you have in your book is the Prairies. So let's just talk about the prairies. Now, first, ye jo word temperate grasslands hai. Now, in in America, it is known as the prairies. Now, what is this prairies in the North America? It is called as prairies. Now, the word prairie originated from the Latin word parata, which means the meadows, right, where these uh, cows were taken for uh, grazing. So this prairies actually lies in the foothills of Canada and uh, USA. And if you can see here, uh, this lies um, in the west, there are these uh, rocky mountains, and uh, then the Great Lakes and the Appalachian Highlands are on its uh, east. So this prairies, the, that the temperate grasslands we are talking about, they are mainly located, two countries mainly, and this is Canada and USA, and they lay between, these prairies lay in the west, of, uh, the Rocky Mountains, and the Great Lakes and the Appalachian Highlands in the east. Now, prairies to area to head the region is generally flat and uh, indulating uh, terrain which actually rises in the west and steeps towards the south. Now, in the area which is in US, this area is drained by the rivers Mississippi, Mississauri, Oahu and Dakota. Right now in Canada, it is uh, drained by the river Saskatchewan and its uh, tributaries. So, here you have questions aate and the more like blanks and you know, uh, fill in the blanks and true and false. So, one thing you need to remember that the prairies is from the Latin word parata, which means the medios, and the two important countries which are situated in the prairies is the Canada and uh, USA, right? Uh, Rocky Mountains on the west, hai, prairies, ke, and east, where you have. Great Lakes and the Appalachian Highlands, right? Now, in USA, this area is drained by the rivers Mississippi, Mississauri, Oahu, and Dakota. In Canada, it is drained by the river Saskatchewan. I, maybe I'm not pronouncing it right. I'm sorry. So, it is drained by the river Saskatchewan and its uh, tributaries, right? So, this is what you can just see from here, uh, right? Now, this river is actually a confluence is where the two rivers meet together. That is the north and the south and the headwaters of which are in the Rocky Mountains here. Right. 
Now, so we have now discussed where the prairies are, right? Again, Rocky Mountains on the west, Great Lakes and Appalachian Highlands on the east. And in the USA, the area is drained by Mississippi, Mississauri, Oahu and Dakota. In Canada, drained by River Saskatchewan and its tributaries, right? So we've done the extent. Now let's talk about the climate of the prairies. Now the first word which comes to our mind is extreme right so ye yaad rakhna hai prairies ka climate jo hai that is extreme because it is located in the interior of the continent now agar main iski winters ki baat karu to winters kitne cold hai it the temperature can rise up to minus 20 degree centigrade agar main summers ki baat karu to temperatures are above 20 degree centigrade and 20 degree i think main punjab mein kahungi to that amounts to like slight winters in uh, punjab that is the you know kind of season that we are experiencing right now it is about 20 degree uh, right now so uh, the climate here is it's extreme that is number one and winters may the temperature rises to minus 20 degree and summers may it is 20 degree centigrade right now rainfall kidney avache rainfall is around 50 centimeter and ye rainfall jo hai winter may nahi hoti mainly aapki spring or summer season may hi hoti hai right ab yahan par ek chanook word aapko aega what is chanook uh See, thoda sa mein winds ke baare mein agar aapko batau to aapne aapne purane sixth class mein ek winds padhi hongi loo, L-double-O, right? So, these were the warm winds which blow in the summers, right? So, yaha par chanook, they are strong warm winds which blow down the eastern slopes of the rocky mountains and these are called as your chanook. So, they are these warm winds which blow down the eastern slope of the rocky mountains. So, we have done the climate clear the climate is extreme kyoke prairies are located in the interior of the continent winters minus 20 degrees summers 20 degree rainfall 50 centimeter only in the spring and summer season and chinook the strong warm winds they blow down the eastern slope of the rocky now let's talk about the natural vegetation now many of say baat kahi thi ke temperate grasslands may grass are the dominant vegetation so that is true now being a temperate grassland the vegetation here is more or less the grasses and the shrubs nevertheless some trees are found but they are found only near the river banks right and what are these more important uh, trees willows alders and poplar now lots of people you know pronounce poplar as popular no that's not the word it's poplar p-o-p-l-a-r so vaise aapke temperate grasslands mein grasses and shrubs hain lekin river banks ke baad jo trees aate hain that is willows alders and poplar right एक इम्पॉर्टेंट आपका ट्रिविया में आगे बताऊंगी मैं यहाँ भी बताने वाली हूँ आपको कि जो क्रिकेट बैच है जो बेस्ट क्रिकेट बैट्स हैं दे आर बिल्ड फ्रॉम द वुड ऑफ द ट्रीज ऑफ बुलोस अब क्या हो रहा है बच्चे बिकॉज मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ जो है दीज ओरिजिनल ग्रास लैंड आर बींग कन्वर्टेड इन टू फार्म लैंड सो सॉइल इज ऑल्सो फर्टाइल सो कुछ क्रॉप्स तो है दे आर बींग ग्रोन इन दी प्रेरीज विच आर दोज क्रॉप्स वीट राइस मेज potatoes cotton and alpha alpha so these are the crops which are being grown in prairies because these original grasslands are being converted to farmlands soil be fertile so they are able to support crops like wheat rice maize potatoes cotton alpha alpha right so very quickly uh, natural vegetation may aapki grasses and shrubs hai trees only winnow, willows alders and poplar will be only near the river banks otherwise most of the vegetation is the grasses and the shrubs and the which the original grasslands is ko farmland may convert kiya ja raha hai ye wali jo crops wheat rice maize potato cotton alfalfa alfa are being grown एक आपका टर्म आता है बच्चे बार बार रैंचेस सो रैंचेस क्या है रैंचेस आर लार्ज फार्म्स जहां पर कैटल इज रेयर्ड फॉर मिल्क एंड मीट राइट एंड दीज आर बीइंग मैनेज लाइक फैक्ट्रीज एंड काउ बॉयज आर द मेन वर्कर्स हियर जहा वेयर द रेनफॉल इज लो यहां पर शॉर्ट ग्रासेस ग्रो एंड सच लैंड इज सूटेबल फॉर कैटल रेयरिंग कैटल रेयरिंग को आप हिंदी में कह सकते हो पशु पालना राइट सो यहां पर रैंचेस जो हैं दे आर these large farms where cattles 
cattle are reared for milk and meat and the main workers here are the cowboys. Now let's talk about the wildlife. You have wolves, caicots, jackals, prairie dogs, antelopes, rabbits and rattlesnakes. So the question which are normally asked here is that uh, name the uh, wildlife of the prairies. So the questions could be like this. So you can just learn, you know, three or four out of them. Wolves, jackals, antelopes, prairie dogs, rabbits, rattleskins and coyotes. They are the wildlife of the prairies. Now, another important thing is that the American buffalo are bison was commonly found in this uh, region, American buffalo and bison. But today it is one of the protected species of animal. Why? Because bison is being hunted for its fur coat and meat. So, this is why bison jo hai because iski hunting is very hai because of fur coat and meat. So, this is one of the protected species of animals. Now, if I talk about the birds, then you have owls, hawks and eagles they are found in the prairies right now so we have done where the prairies are situated what is the climate of the prairies what is the vegetation we've talked about the wildlife we've talked about the birds now how are the people who are living in the prairies now prairies are not only the most fertile farmlands but here par world's largest mineral deposits have also been found that means farmlands bhi hai fertile land bhi hai aur mineral deposits bhi hai so yaha ke log jo hai unki main occupation kya hai they mainly do agriculture they do dairy farming and mining. So these three occupations are the main occupations of the people. Now let's do detail of this, the agriculture. Now, number one, in agriculture, they practice commercial agriculture. They have three main occupations, hai, agriculture, dairy farming and mining. Ab tino ko, I will explain it to you. Now, agriculture, bache, they normally practice commercial agriculture so there are two type of agriculture one subsistence the number two is commercial i'm not here to confuse you but subsistence is jo aapko normal apne uh, jo hai normal khana jo hai jaise wheat and uh, you know barley or maize which you require to eat and you require only for your own consumption is the subsistence commercial now commercial crops are those crops which are grown for sale right now the scientific uh, techniques like uh, crop rotation crop rotation means aap koi bhi crop jo hai usko aap aapne ek crop grow kar di then the second crop so as to increase the fertility of the land then is contour plowing uh, strip farming is practiced all this is done to increase the yield now farms are large and the work is done by machines which reap the crop, thresh the grains and pack them in the sack. So obviously prairies are known for their commercial agriculture and the two countries, I told you in the very beginning that the two countries located in the prairies are USA and Canada. So I think this is clear to you. Occupation mein pehli agriculture hai, commercial farming where the crops are grown for sale in the market and the farms are large and work is mostly done by the machines. So prairies are also called as the granaries of the world. This is very important. Why are they called? Because huge quantities of wheat are produced mainly for export to European and the Asian markets. So here wheat is their commercial product which is you know produced for exporting it to countries of Europe and Asia. Right? Now, second, I have told you that dairy farming is yet another major factory, right? So you can just see the farms here and how the, the cattle is uh, taken care. Now, the belt of the dairy farming extends from the Great Lakes to the Atlantic coast in the east because in the eastern part, you have these tall, nutritious grasses. So that is very much suitable for uh, dairy cattle. Now, what is being uh, produced? Milk, butter and cheese are produced in large quantities. And because of cattle rearing and agriculture, 
lot of food processing industries have also been established in prairies so dairy dairy farming is yet another major factory uh, we, that extends from the great lakes to the atlantic coast because the eastern part is suitable for dairy cattle because tall nutritious grasses are grown on the eastern part Mil milk butter cheese are grown here and it also has promoted the setting up of food processing industries right I also told you about the mining. See, I have said that prairies are not only fertile farmlands, but they also have rich mineral deposits. So, large mineral deposits of coal and iron ore have helped to develop good network of roads, railways, and inland waterways. And uh, most of these settlements are located along the railway lines. Now, this question is very important. This can be asked as your fill in the blank or just name two industrial centers of uh, USA in prairies, name industrial centers of uh, Canada. So you can learn about uh, three, like you can learn uh, Chicago, then is Kansas, Denver, and you also have Indianapolis and Minneapolis. And the towns of Canada is uh, Edmonton, uh, Regina, Calgary, Winnipeg, and uh, Saskatoon. Now, this is important. Winnipeg is also known as the gateway to prairies, right? Prairies is also known as, there was another thing that I taught you, is their prairies are also called as the granary of the world, right? And uh, Winnipeg is also called as the gateway to the prairies. So this is what we have done in the prairies. A quick two minute revision of this and then we'll move on to the wells, right? Now I think it should be clear to you, you have to answer this. Now the prairies are from the Latin word parata which means medios and the two countries which are the prominent countries of prairies is Canada and USA and uh, prairies uh, on in the prairies if you talk about their uh, location on their uh, west is the Rocky Mountains, on their east to have the Great Lakes and the Appalachian Highlands and uh, this USA the area is drained by Mississippi, Mississauri, Oahu, Dakota in Canada it is drained by the Saskatchewan and its uh, tributaries right uh, and you know this river has its headwaters from the Rocky Mountains right talked about the climate very important climate is extreme winters minus 20 degrees centigrade summers 20 degrees centigrade rainfall 50 centimeter and these chinook very important they are strong winds which blow down the eastern slope of the rocky mountains we did the natural vegetation normally grasses and uh, shrubs and trees are willows alders and poplar but they are only found near the river banks the original grasslands are being converted into farmlands they support crops like wheat rice maize potatoes cotton alpha alpha ranches are there now ranches kya hote hain bahut bade farms banaye gaye hain jahan par cows can be reared for milk and meat and the people who work here are known as the cowboys right wildlife kadia wolves uh, jackals antelopes prairie dogs rabbits rattleskins and coyotes right and American uh, buffalo or bison is very commonly found uh, here and uh, bison is one of the protected species of animal because of its fur coat and meat. The birds are owls, hawks and eagles, right? Uh, if I have told you, their main occupation is agriculture, dairy farming and mining because prairies are not only fertile farmlands but also large mineral deposits are found here. So agriculture may mostly they follow the commercial uh, farming. Prairies are known as the granary of the world because they produce huge quantities of wheat for export to Europe and the Asian markets. It is also uh, dairy farming is yet another major factory, right? Milk, butter, cheese are produced here and they are also, they also have this uh, food processing uh, industries. Then mining is here, large mineral deposits of coal and iron ore have been uh, found here and that has helped to develop a good network of roads, railways and inland uh, waterways and most of the settlements are along the railway lines, important industrial centers of USA and Canada, they have to be learned, it can be asked as a question, it could be also a dash or name the uh, industrial centers of uh, USA, so you have to learn three to four of them. Uh, Winnipeg is known as the gateway to prairies, Dash is known as the gateway to prairies, uh, Winnipeg in Canada. The other one now we'll be do doing is the wells in South Africa. So let's move on to this one. Let me have my uh, red pointer now because yellow won't be visible here. 
Now, wells is a Dutch word which means field, right? Now, I had told you, Bache, that the temperate grasslands, if in the, the see, these are the prairies that we did. Now, these are the temperate grasslands in North America. Now, wells are the temperate grasslands in Africa. Now, location, they are located in the eastern part of the plateau of South Africa. They lie between the Drakensberg Mountains in the southeast and Kalahari in the northwest. So, you can just see here that um, this is the weld and it lies between the uh, Drakensberg Mountains here and the Kalahari uh, Desert, right? So, I think I've explained it to you, right? right it is between the drakensberg and your uh, kalahari desert right now this is um the um right uh, they haven't mentioned about the river so you can also omit if you don't want to do that but I, that's all right you can just learn that where are they situated right now now these whales are the rolling uh, plateaus and they have a height from 600 to 1100 uh, meters. The highest part is known as the high wells and the middle weld ranges from 150 meter to 600 meter. Uh, so their rivers they have mentioned because I had thought that they have not mentioned but yes it is an important aspect of uh, this. The river the region is drained by the rivers Li uh, Limpopo, Sabi, orange and its tributaries so these all can be asked as the fill in the blanks or like one markers so which means that you have to do them little in uh, detail right now let's talk about the climate dekho pehli baat karenge hum yahi par differentiation karenge prairies mein humne padha ke extreme climate hai lekin wells mein the climate is moderate now why moderate because of the influence of the oceans prairies may extreme tha because they are situated in the interior of the continent so yaha par the climate is moderate that means the winters are cold and dry summers are short and warm the climate gets cooler as we increase in the altitude now rainfall bache yaha bhi hai low mainly in uh, summers aapke prairies mein bhi that was only in summer and your spring and it decreases from east to west as the winds blow from the indian ocean and give more rain to the eastern region the this area also faces uh, drought conditions right all right so now this is your natural vegetation this is the tall grasses that I'm, I will be talking about, uh, right, and the wildlife, right. Now, wells are actually the temperate uh, grasslands, so which means that the grasses, both your tall and short bushes, scattered trees, they form the vegetation and trees just like prairies are restricted to the river bank. Now, if you talk about the wildlife, you have lion, leopards, cheetah, giraffe and springbok, right? Now, although the wildlife, their numbers are dwindling because of the reckless hunting and uh, poaching and government has established national parks and wildlife centuries to protect animal and to promote uh, tourism. So, you can see here the giraffe, cheetah and uh, the, uh, the cheetah, the uh, giraffe, cheetah and I also showed you lion here, right? So, I think we've covered lion, leopards, cheetah, giraffe and uh, right? Hmm. Okay. Now, let's talk about the people. Um, here again, the chief occupation in the wells is animal rearing and mining. Now, agriculture is not an important activity. When we said that the prairies were not, are not only uh, fertile farmlands, but they also have rich mineral deposits. But the wells, their main occupation is animal rearing and mining. Agriculture is not an important activity because of scanty, very less rainfall and poor soil. And however, Jahabi soil is fertile or sufficient rainfall, these following crops are grown here. Maize, wheat, barley, oats, potatoes are grown and certain cash crops are also grown like tobacco, sugarcane and cotton. See, what are cash crops is basically commercial crops, crops which can be sold in the market and they can fetch you more uh, you know, money in terms of the other uh, crops. So, these cash crops like tobacco, sugarcane, cotton were also grown. 
right now animal rearing is of course an important uh, occupation there now while the sheep are reared sorry sheep sheep are no word the the plural of sheep is also sheep right so sheep are reared in cooler and drier areas and the cattle rearing is practiced in the warmer and the wetter areas in the eastern part so then sheep are also reared for their wool and two most important varieties of wool are merina and angora so they can also ask you uh, there are lots of you know questions which can be asked like one markers uh, fill in the blanks on true and false so read the chapter nicely obviously listen to this video understand go back to your chapter and come back to this video again and i'm sure things will be absolutely clear to you right so animal rearing is important uh, sheep are reared in cooler and drier areas cattle rearing is in warmer and wetter areas and uh, sheep are reared for wool two most important varieties of wool are merina and angora and the dairy products like uh, butter and cheese are produced for uh, export right and your uh, meat and leather are also obtained from the cattle reared there right now about the minerals and industries now world has rich reserves of gold uranium diamond iron and ore right coal iron and uh, ore right now this is um, i just wanted to give you a kind of a glimpse of uh, the whole thing now kimberley is known for the diamond mines while johannesburg is famous as the gold capital of the world right now this is important uh, kimberley is famous for the diamond mines while johannesburg is famous as gold capital of the world now we have certain mineral based industries in the wells iron and steel metal works machinery railway equipment and the diamond industries then you also have the agro based industries agro based ka matlab hota hai jis jis industry ka raw material jo hai wo aapko agriculture se milta hai jaise woolen textiles uh, the food processing dairy products leather products right now this presence of industry has promoted excellent network of roads and railways and major cities are connected by the airways so let's just revise what we have done till now in the wells because humne wo to kafi baar kar liya tha prairies but ye humne nahi kiya tha right so pehle wells are the temporary grass temperate grasslands of south africa and they lie between the drakensberg mountains and the kalahari right so this this is the underlying part is the weld uh, and it is between the drakensberg mountains and the kalahari uh, desert right then uh, they are the rolling uh, plateaus the highest part is the high weld and uh, the region is drained by rivers limpopo uh, and sabi and uh, orange about the climate they have moderate climate because of the influence of ocean winters are cold and dry summers are short and warm and as you increase or you as you go higher the climate gets uh, cooler right and i also told you now in the vegetation and even in the rearing that the uh, that the sheep are reared where the climate is much more uh, cooler right rainfall is uh, low mainly in the summers and rainfall decreases from the east to west because the winds blow from the indian ocean and give more rain to the eastern areas than to the western areas so obviously the wind blow from the indian ocean to east to the west so that gives more rain to the eastern area as compared to the western one in the natural vegetation you have the normally tall and short uh, grasses bushes and trees are restricted to river bank wildlife may lions leopards cheetah giraffe and springbok um, a lot of national parks and centuries wildlife centuries have also been uh, built giraffe leopard and your uh, zebras right now the chief occupation of people are animal rearing and mining agriculture is not important because of the scanty rainfall and poor soil but wherever the soil is fertile crops like maize wheat barley oats potatoes are grown certain cash crops are grown like tobacco sugarcane and cotton right animal rearing is important uh, now sheep is reared in the eastern part of this uh, wells i told you eastern receives more uh, rainfall and uh, sorry um, um it's it's more in the eastern uh, part sorry uh, i'm extremely sorry now cattle rearing is in the eastern uh, part right and uh, the while the uh,
ओके सो मेटल एंड इंडस्ट्रीज गोल्ड यूनानियम डायमंड कोल आयरन ओर राइट एंड वी ऑल्सो टॉक्ट अबाउट दी दी यू नो इंडस्ट्रीज किम्बरली इज फेमस फॉर डायमंड माइंस जोहानसबर्ग इज फेमस एज द गोल्ड कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड राइट ना दे वर दी सर्टन इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स लाइक फर्स्ट इज रैंचेज दे आर लार्ज कैटल फार्म्स इन द परेरीज देन इज डेरी फार्मिंग द रेयरिंग ऑफ कैटल मेनली फॉर डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक बटर चीज एंड मिल्क आई एम सो सॉरी इट्स इट्स स्पेल्ड एज डायरी बट इट्स डेरी प्रोडक्ट आई एम रेरी सॉरी इट इज डी ए आई आर वाई राइट दैट इज क्रॉप रोटेशन आई टोल्ड यू बचे क्रॉप रोटेशन का मतलब होता है प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रोइंग क्रॉप वन आफ्टर द अदर टू मेनटेन द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ सॉइल स्ट्रिप फार्मिंग द लैंड इज डिवाइडेड इन टू लॉन्ग स्ट्रिप्स एंड डिफरेंट क्रॉप आर ग्रोन ऑन दैम नाउ स्ट्रिप फार्मिंग इज ऑल्सो डन टू मेनटेन द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द लैंड एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री विच इज रिलेटेड टू अ फार्म प्रोडक्ट और अ क्रॉप जस्ट लाइक एग्जाम्पल कॉटन टेक्सटाइल्स कॉटन ग्रो होगी तो देर बी एन कॉटन इंडस्ट्री राइट सो देन इज टेन मीन्स रिलीफ और द फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ लैंड नाउ इन योर बुक इन द लास्ट थिंग दे हैव कंपेयर सो आई थॉट दर आर डू दैट फॉर यू वन इज लोकेशन कैनेडा एंड यू एस ए आर द मेन कंट्रीज वे प्रेरीज आर सिचुएटेड एंड इट लाइज बिटवीन रॉकीज एंड द ग्रेट लेक्स एंड इट इज ड्रेन बाई रिवर्स मिसिसिपी मिसिसवरी ओवाहो एंड डकोटा right uh, wells are in the eastern part of the south african plateau between rakensburg mountains and the kalahari desert the region is drained by the rivers orange lipampo right then is uh, wildlife wolf jackal rabbits dog bison uh, i told you bison is one of the most important uh, animals in the prairies now and uh, endangered species as well for its uh, hunting especially for its fur coat and uh, meat right owls jackals and eagles and in the wells you have uh, lions leopards cheetah giraffe etc are found here then climate bachche humne kiya tha prairies mein it is extreme because it is in, it is situated in the interior uh, yahan par jo hai winter temperature is minus 20 summer is 20 degree rainfall is moderate there is snow in winter we did the chinook winds which are uh, warm winds which blow down the eastern slope of the rockies in well the summers are short and warm winters are cold dry eastern part gets heavier rainfall and decreases as we go the westward right vegetation there's grasses and shrubs and uh, prairies may willow sorry willows alders and poplars are most important and aapke best baths jo hain they are created from the trees of willows right and uh, in the wells you have tall and short grasses bushes scattered trees they are found especially on the banks of rivers and on the higher sl- slopes right yahan par i told you agriculture dairy farming mining commercial farming is done on scientific uh, lines wheat is the main uh, crop coal and iron ore are the main minerals right in the wells animal rearing and mining is done agriculture is not there it is there but not you know not followed in that way as it is in uh, prairies because of the low rainfall and but wherever the rainfall wherever the soil is uh, fertile certain crops are uh, grown right so this is all that i have for you in this chapter i'm sure that uh this chapter is now clear to you but the only way to make it more clearer is listen to this video go back to your chapter read it come back to this video see that and i'm certainly sure that things will be crystal clear to you so all the best for your exams and hopefully we'll be getting you another video on the chapter life in deserts thank you very much for watching this video any type of comments any type of videos that you want please put me in the comment section thank you so much and all the best